What's going on there guys? Good evening. This is your Earthmaster here uh, on the live stream on this Tuesday evening, January 18th, 2022 is the date. Uh, latest quake, a 4.6 earthquake up here outside of the Greenland area. You can see some uh, movement uh, kicking up there. Just kind of new all of a sudden. Haven't seen a whole lot of activity ramping up there in that region of the world. Let's go ahead and check out some activity. Uh, actually, I want to go over a little article first I found here on the npr.org website they put out uh, earlier today from uh, from the NASA scientists. Uh, they estimate Tonga blast at 10 megatons. That's pretty significant. In fact, uh, that's probably about the, uh, well, it's 500 times as powerful as the uh, nuclear bomb dropped on Japan at the end of the uh, World War II. That's a lot of, that is a lot of TNT, let me tell you. 10 megatons of TNT, 500 times as powerful as a nuclear bomb. Unbelievable. Uh, in fact, this might be the loudest eruptions uh, since the eruption of the Indonesian volcano, Krakatoa, in 1883. Of course, that one was a pretty significant eruption as well, and that one uh, did produce a tsunami back then as well. Uh, An unfortunate amount of uh, fatalities that set along with that as well. Um, in, in this case... Uh, this gentleman states that he believes the worst may be over, uh, at least for now. But I still think, uh, after reading a couple articles last night, that uh, we could be in for maybe possibly some series of similar type events here in the coming weeks, months, and years. Um, some images coming out of the Indonesia area, or the uh, Tonga area, I should say. A lot of... Uh, a lot of damage out there pretty uh pretty sad to see but also very interesting at the same time to see the massive amount of uh energy that can be released from a volcano here's a uh, before image uh, on january 6th and a january 18th image over here to the right as you can see it has definitely uh well disappeared for the most part it was a pretty significant uh um volcano here and it's just gone now we have two separate little islands and a, uh, well, a hole down there where the uh, volcano used to come up from or used to uh, uh, arise from the ocean floor. Pretty crazy to look at, but I thought that was pretty interesting there. Uh, 500 times as powerful as the nuclear bomb. Unbelievable. All right, guys, going to jump right into the space weather real quick. Got a G1 storm kicking up here. Seen this coming in to the Aurora forecast. Uh, over the last hour, they finally issued the G1 storm. You can see that uh, heightened geomagnetic storming at the higher latitudes. So right now, looking at 50% chance of the auroras there and 15% uh, or 50% chance at higher lat latitudes, 15% uh, at the mid latitudes. But it's looking pretty significant there on the aurora forecast there at the higher latitudes. The uh, KP index has not come in yet, but I guarantee you it's up there in the red. Could reach, um, who knows, could be a G2 class storm, but right now they're just predicting G1 with the measurements and the speed that's coming in. Uh, let's see here. Current wind speed is near 600 kms and contains a sector of the southward BZ. This should help to disturb the geomagnetic field in the short term. Uh, let's see here. Of course, that uh, M flare kicked off yesterday or a day before around AR2929. Region is no longer earth directed, so any eruptions during the next few days will likely uh, be mostly or at least directly away from the planet. It won't be uh, um, directly facing us. Another isolated M flare will, will remain possible during the next 24 hours. So, uh, kind of ramping up here on the solar weather at the moment. Sunspot activity, though, is kind of uh, like I mentioned, not super um, active, but it's still there. Just looking at the uh, possibilities of the uh, auroras tonight higher latitudes pretty cool all right guys uh, back to the earthquake activity up here there's the latest earthquake uh, 4.6 around the greenland area at 10 kilometers haven't seen a whole lot of movement like i mentioned in that region in uh, quite some time a uh, little activity also on the northern northwestern part of the pacific ring of fire over off the coast of russia a 4.5 at 66.8 kilometers this area has remained relatively quiet for the most part in producing large earthquakes. I still think we're looking at the probability of something happening here pretty soon within that region. 
Uh, we have been pretty active over here around the Philippines, Taiwan southward into the Indonesia area as well. Quite a few fours kicking off here over the last 24 hours. And also down here uh, near Tonga, uh, around the Hunga Tonga volcano, uh, just to the north anyway, seen a 4.8 at 10 kilometers and some further uh, activity to the south along the Kermadec Trench with a 4.6. This one pretty shallow right there at the trench area, uh, but a kind of a renewed signal of some movement within this area. So just a heads up. Uh, these earthquakes here were from last night, I believe, the 5.1 and the other uh, 5.2 around the Pacific Antarctica plates here. I haven't seen any further activity. Uh, just those two from late last night. Uh, movement into the Puerto Rico area as well, kind of kicking up. Latest quake at 3.1, just right off the coast there. And some other activity around the Puerto Rico trench area. Just some small quakes uh, north of that section. Uh, looking at the northern part of the, uh, well, the western part of the North American plate here. Some activity really ramping up uh, from this view. Looks like California and Nevada really kicking things up here look at this swarm of activity north of las vegas haven't seen this much movement in quite a while in a little confined area it looks like uh 38 kilometers west northwest of indian springs this movement is taking place and the uh the depths are anywhere from one to about eight kilometers or so below the surface jumping up and down all over the place around this fault system the rock valley fault zone it looks like uh, Las Vegas sits down here about uh, 50, 60 miles or so to the southeast. Most of this activity microquakes, but it is earthquake activity nonetheless that is showing up uh, within the last 24 hours. So kind of keep an eye on that region there of Nevada. Ridgecrest area still seeing some movement uh, along the fracture zones. Not a whole lot up here in the volcanic areas of the Coso range, but uh, some movement there in the fracture zones. Um, let's see what else we got here. Still seeing some activity along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. We've seen that earthquake, um, let's see, was 3.5, right? 3.5 originally came in as a 3.9. Downgraded, of course, and a few aftershocks following that activity. Nothing within the last hour. Most of the movement looks like it's just confined here to a separate section of the San Jacinto Fault Zone down south here. A little separate cluster of itself around the Santa Rosa Mountains here. Some more microquakes kicking up in that region. Uh, as far as San Andreas goes in the Imperial and Brawley Seismic Zone, all looks pretty quiet. The Gulf of California as well, pretty quiet. Uh, movement off the coast of Southern California and also around the Los Angeles jungles. Some microquakes out there. Nothing significant at the moment. A little earthquake out here in the Pacific, 2.7. Pretty shallow earthquake and some movement also north of the uh, Thousand Oaks area. Uh, up along the creeping section, some activity as well within the last hour. Just once again, some uh, microquakes there near the Pinnacles area, 1.6. Lake Tahoe, a little bit more active than we had seen um, earlier this morning. Some movement north of the Lake Tahoe area, kind of stretching up towards the Reno and Sparks area. Um, some very small earthquake activity, microquakes, but uh, it's nonetheless some further movement up there in the uh, eastern part of the Sierra Nevadas. Uh, Northern California, 2.7 off the coast there, and also a little earthquake pretty deep into the subduction zone here, 1.9 down dip, 25 kilometers below the surface there. Uh, but there's, um, you know, there's definitely some activity kicking up there, not a whole lot uh, being reported by the USGS, unfortunately. Go ahead and check out the trimmer map while we are on that topic, and we're looking at a pretty sizable increase in trimmer from the last couple days or so. 179 epicenters of trimmer. You can see that total amount here in the M energy released over here off to the side. It's a pretty significant amount within a uh, well short amount of time here. We haven't seen this much activity ramp up in a while. It has been relatively quiet over the last month and a half or so. Uh, but this area has seen a pretty sizable increase. No subsequent uh, earthquakes up here that I see, or at least being reported here by the USGS. Just kind of uh, waiting to see when they will get on with the show and report earthquake activity up there. Uh, let's see what we've got. Yellowstone movement. Uh, some activity kicking up here. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. Make sure we got the latest info here, which uh, looks 
a little bit less active this evening. We have gotten the data back here to the Yellowstone area, uh, right around Madison River, and uh, all these areas up here were absent of data for a good uh, period or so last night and uh, yesterday. That has since returned. As far as earthquake activity goes, not a whole lot to report here. Earlier in the day, yes, over the last few hours, definitely has toned down. Only a couple small, very small, very, very, very small earthquakes there uh, to report around the uh, Yellowstone area. Not a whole lot of movement there. Uh, what else we got here as far as the worldwide activity goes up in to the uh, Canada region? I don't believe we're looking at any renewed movement, uh, but we will check that out real quick on the Earthquakes Canada map here. Kind of a cool site to check out if you're interested in the earthquake activity up in the uh, uh, across the Canada region. We have seen a little bit of movement up here. A 3.1 occurring earlier today off the coast of the BC area. That's at the northern end of the Cascadia. Seen some activity kind of ramp up there in the red circles over the last day. And the most recent quake up here in the purple circle uh, off the, uh, looks like off the coast, village of Queen Charlotte area, BC region, north of the uh, uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Cascadia subduction zone ends right about here. That movement right along the North American and Pacific Plate uh, interaction boundary right there. Uh, and a little bit of activity up here to the north as well into the uh, uh, Alaska region as well. So just a little bit of uptick. Eastern part here looks pretty quiet around the Quebec area. Uh, the rest of uh, Alaska on the USGS map shows some movement. Cook Inlet area and also some movement down here to subduction zone 33.6, uh, 45.9 kilometers for a uh, pretty deep earthquake within this region. Pretty shallow one, 3.2 upstream here in the Gulf of Alaska. The Aleutian Trench pretty quiet, but still watching for potential large scale movement within this area. Um, Hawaii, let's go ahead and zoom in here to this area. This is the all magnitudes here. Looks pretty. Uh, Looks pretty quiet, doesn't it? Not a whole lot to report here. Only 13 earthquakes and nothing within the last hour. It's pretty quiet there for the southeast region. Off the west coast over here, a little bit of activity. 1.8, 6.1 kilometers below surface for that one. Uh, other than that, things kind of taking a, a chill pill, if you will, on the big island. Uh, what else we got here? That's about it, folks, as far as earthquake activity goes. 4.4 uh, in Afghanistan earlier but uh, like I say we're just looking at some spotty movement in some oddball oddball areas uh, making some adjustments there we always seem to get these earthquakes that occur in regions where we well, we really haven't seen a lot of movement like up here and also off the tip of the uh, Greenland area just kind of some uh, strange activity kicking up there Texas region uh, around the uh, Guadalupe Peak southward Seen some activity, some twos and even a three there. Uh, northeast of the Big Spring, Texas area, Midland area. The rest of the uh, eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet. This is an earlier older quake around the still Missouri region. The New Madrid zone sits in here. All right, folks, um, let's see what else we got to cover. No tsunami warnings yet. Uh, still kind of watching for the activity. <clears throat> of course, uh, you know, I'm, I was kind of sitting back wondering how many other underwater volcanoes are there out there you know that may be uh maybe brewing up getting ready to uh pop its top underneath the ocean somewhere you know what, what about super volcanoes out there uh might go into a more detailed outlook video in that uh coming up in the days ahead just doing a little bit more studying on potential uh volcanic eruptions there underneath the ocean seems like those things uh, can easily produce a tsunami when they when they erupt so might be a cool video to do we'll do that uh here coming pretty soon once i get some info together but for now still uh nothing going on far as the tsunami uh warnings and watches and advisories go the data buoys systems out here let's see if we can get these guys to uh key up <clears throat> and uh things look pretty calm no stations in event mode out there that i can see they'd normally be flashing uh, even down around the uh, Tonga area, looks like everything's been reset. And um, yeah, that's how, uh, hopefully that's how it stays. 
All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, be on alert for uh, possible auroras. You can see that there on the aurora forecast, looking pretty significant there at the higher latitudes up in the uh, Canada region. So uh, possibly dipping down into the states there. We'll have to pay attention, see if that uh, does hold true or not for some of the uh, uh, middle latitude areas up there. All right, guys, have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you a little bit later. Peace out.